Hey guys, Brett here, and I wanted to show how having a third-party autoresponder service can not only hurt you, but how it can actually hurt your customers as well. So I have a WordPress plugin that I sell through my blog called Link Master. And last night I finished an update to the plugin. And what I wanted to do was email everybody and let them know that the new version of the plugin is available inside of JVZoo for them to get access to. So what I did was I went into JVZoo and I downloaded a list of all the customers who have purchased this. I downloaded their email address and I went and I uploaded it to my Mail It WordPress plugin. And I sent them a little email letting them know that if they log into JVZoo, JVZoo, they can get the updated version of the plugin completely free. Now this is good for me because I'm giving good value to my customers and it's good for them because they're getting the updated version completely free. Now you can see the email that I sent with my mail at plugin. I sent 769 emails because I have sold 769 copies of that via my blog. I got 305 people to open it so far. That's a 40% open rate. There were no clicks because there wasn't a link inside the message. It was just a note telling them to go to JVZoo and they can get the new version for free. And three people unsubscribed. I'm not really sure why, but I guess they don't want the new version, so they unsubscribed. Now, this was great. I was able to do this very easily because I have the MailIt plugin. All I had to do was upload the new list of customers, email them, and everything is fine. But just for kicks, I wanted to see what would happen if I had tried to do this with my AWeber account. So I'm going to head over to AWeber and I'm going to show you what happened when I tried to upload this same list to AWeber. So here are the results. Well, first of all, I actually uploaded this list to AWeber last night and I didn't even get a response from them until 10.52 a.m. this morning. It took them about 14 hours just to respond to me and allow the upload. And if you actually look here, I submitted 769 emails. That was all of the customers that bought this product through me. So, of course, I wanted to tell all of them that there's now an improved version of the plugin for them to get. But if you see right here, it says subscribers added 700. AWeber didn't allow me to upload 69 of my subscribers. So there's 69 poor customers here that wouldn't have gotten the updated version, that would not have known about the updated version because it's not practical to mail them one at a time if I only had AWeber. If I was relying on AWeber, not only would I have a 14 hour delay, which frankly is kind of fast, but I would have had 69 customers that never got the email and never would have known about the update. I would have actually been hurting these customers because I would have no way to practically contact them and let them know about the updated version. Now, just for fun and just to check this out, what I did was I actually looked at some of these email addresses that weren't allowed to be uploaded to AWeber. And I went and I compared them to my MailIt plugin. And guess what? A lot of these people who were not allowed to be uploaded to AWeber actually opened the email I sent with my MailIt plugin. So what this shows me is these are valid, good email addresses that AWeber, for just some unknown reason, decided can't be added to their system. Now, I'm using AWeber as an example because that's the autoresponder I used to use. But all of the autoresponders are going to be similar. When you upload a list, they're going to filter out a portion of that list. And they're not going to give you any explanation. They're just going to say, hey, you can't add these people. And thinking about it now, I'm seeing that it's hurting my customers because it's making me not be able to contact them easily for things like updates. And also, when I'm uploading people that I want to contact, it's hurting me. I mean, right here, there's about 9.5% of my list that wasn't allowed to be added to AWeber. And these are people that are actually opening my messages when I send it with my MailIt plugin. So I can't help but think if I do a promo or I do a giveaway or I do a launch and I want to upload my list to an autoresponder service, they're going to filter out some of those customers. How many of those customers would have been opening my emails? How much money did I lose because the third-party autoresponders just simply said, oops, sorry, you can't add these people to your list on our service. I probably lost thousands of dollars for no fault of my own from customers that wanted to get my emails just because the third-party services said you can't add that subscriber to our system.
What I want everybody to realize is that while it's great to have your own self-hosted system, such as my Mailit plugin, there's also the advantage of I don't have somebody else looking over my shoulder and telling me how to run my business. If I didn't have Mailit, there would have been 69 poor customers that wouldn't have gotten the updated version of my LinkMaster plugin through no fault of their own or no fault of my own. And that says nothing of the potential thousands of dollars that I've lost by not being allowed to upload my full list into the autoresponder system. Having your own self-hosted mailing service, such as Mailit, allows you to run your business the way you want to. It allows you to email people that actually want to get your emails without having to get permission from somebody else. When you couple this with the fact that you don't have to pay a monthly fee and you can get better open rates, it really becomes a no-brainer. <laughs>